All right, you lot. How you doing? Yo, she cooks here. And today we will be making crispy roast potatoes. And to accompany it, rich Yorkshire gravy. But we be here. Cheers. Cheers. Jack, there seems to be no room in the kitchen today. That's because I'm not Jack. Only me. Oh, that's right. Jack's in pantomime in Wolverhampton. So I've brought Andy off the subs bench and we're going to make roast potatoes. Well, I hope I can do it justice. The stun jack. <laughs> Cheers. And now we have deal of the week. And my deal of the week is a cheese and onion oh. lattice pie. Doesn't that picture look good? Oh, goodness me. And how much was that? Right, it was 68 pence, it says so here, from £1.22. Oh, wonderful. But, I mean, I haven't tasted it yet, but I guess I will do at some point. Um, looks pretty good. It's got a few red marks on the labels, but nothing that I can't tell you. Wonderful. Right. What, what have you got? Stun Jack's deal of the week. Oh, uh, be better than them uh, plastic lids he once got. Absolutely. Mm. His Moroccan style, extra special, lamb kofters. Should retail at, oh, that's a little, should retail at £3.57, purchased for £2.03. Now look at those. It's mm. even got mince and yoghurt sauce sachet, so once it's cooked, you can sprinkle it over. And especially as Morocco's just been sprayed in the World Cup on the penalty shoot tail. I know, but it's what a treat. Uh, that is a treat tonight, especially if you live in Morocco, I guess. Um, right, write in the uh, bits below what all you think has won, whether it's the cheese and onion lattice pie or the Moroccan style lamb cocofters. Um, personally, Looking at that, I think I've lost again. I think I lose every week. <laughs> but uh, I think the Moroccan style lamb kofters is a deal. So do I think the stump jack will be proud. Yes. <laughs> Bob on. Bob on. Right, this is the deal of the week, and there's your kofters and my cheese and onion pie. I think we ought to try them. What? Start the pie? Mm. It's in half, and let's see what we've got inside. It looks all well. Let's get that for a filling. Do you know? I think it said it had got red Leicester. And well, you can see the red Leicester already pouring out there. Yeah. I think we've got to taste it now. Right. It's a bit crumbly, isn't it? Yeah. 68 pence, appears to be. Absolute bargain. Mmm. You know, you can pick these bargains up, you certainly can. I'm quite impressed with that. Mmm, very good. Right. Now, this is the one I'm really looking forward to. And it eats the... We're eating this on the same day that Morocco beats Spain. So, oh, Moroccan lamb cocktail. Very tasty. It is indeed. Like a restaurant meal, that one. It is. You don't like this, don't you? Dump the camera back. Yes, you would. And Jack. And Jack. Jack would love it. Really. Mm. And probably 10 million Moroccans would like it as well. Mm. Oh, it's going to go down very well in Spain this evening. No. <laughs> so it's a bob on from me. And it's a bob on from me. And this week's beer of the week is Yorkshire IPA 5.1% volume. So let's get started and see what it says on the bottle. It says here, Perfectly balanced English style IPA, brimming with hop character from its four varieties, balanced with a malty backbone, 
for a re resolute bitter finish. Well, it's definitely very hoppy and full of flavour. A very good IPA and it's from Yorkshire. Mm. Um, it has got a good aroma, um, crisp finish to it. Definitely one that I'd have a good session on. Well, it's a bob on from me. And it's a bob on from me. Cheers. Cheers. One kilogram of potatoes. 220 grams of duck fat or goose fat. Salt. Bisto gravy powder and Oxo stock cubes. And everyone's favourite, Henderson's relish. Put the potatoes on the stove and bring to the boil, boiling for one minute. Now, take the duck fat, spoon it onto your baking tray. There's no need to spread it out because it'll do that naturally when it's in the oven. And now you place that in the oven while the potatoes are boiling at a heat of 200 degrees. And once the potatoes have boiled for a minute, take them off the heat and drain. And now the potatoes are drained, all you need to do is agitate them. And this takes the edges off the cut potatoes, makes them fluffy, and this makes them crisp up in the oven. Once your potatoes are boiled for a minute and being agitated, pop them into the duck fat, which has been warming up in the oven. You can hear that sizzling away quite nicely. And then all you need to do is place them out and baste each one. Make sure that they get a good covering of duck fat. An interesting uh, cooking historical tip here is the basting brush, which was originally, originally made from the nasal hairs of a camel, but soon had to stop using that because when people ate the roast potatoes, they used to get the hump on. And now for the magic gravy. The top tip for a Yorkshire cook, the Oxo cube, comes wrapped in a little foil envelope. Now, not a lot of people know this, even Michael Caine doesn't know this, but some people just rip these open and then they get oxo all over the fingers trying to go in there. So what you need to do is gently crush it while it's still in the pipe like that. No spillage of any oxo anywhere. That like that. And you sprinkle that into your pint of hot water. If you'd like to stir. Oh, I stir quite a lot. And talking of stirring. Yes. Has he turned the video on this time? What, the cameraman? Yes. Well, it's very hard to turn a video on with a broken wrist. But I'm sure he's struggling. <laughs> but I do hope he has, because with two broken wrists, it's going to be even worse. <laughs> Here we go. Next Oxo cube, and we're going in. And no spillage of any Oxo. Anyway. Well, apart from that bit. Well, apart from that bit, but that's yeah. Jump Jack's fault. Yeah, yeah. Stage two of the three stage easy gravy making process takes some wonderful bisto gravy powder. Not the granules, the powder. Now, for a pint I usually use four heaped teaspoons. Heaped? That were about two. That's about eight. Well, you're a Yorkshire lad. You like your gravy thick, don't you? Like you like your women? Yeah. Right. Of course. Now, the secret to making gravy that's not lumpy, just add a touch of water into that powder to make a mix into paste. That's all you need. So you just stir that gently, so there's no lumps at all. And this is what scares some people about making proper gravy. So if you look at the bottom of the cup there, 
There's no lumps. Now we just add a touch more water and I'll stir that. And my chief Yorkshire stirrer, who is on standby with the oxo, will now start stirring the oxo gently. And now pour this mix in with the oxo. Now, if you'd like to pour that into the pan, these are absolutely terrible for pouring. Everyone knows it goes all over the place. Now, we put that on the stove. A little bit of excess there. And the trick to a good smooth gravy is while it's on the heat and bring it to the boil, constantly stir. Don't leave it. That's you, Andy. You constantly stir. You taught me everything, sir. Now, if you find the gravy is getting too thick for you or your liking, you can always add some more water and it'll thin it out. And now the secret ingredient for any good gravy, a dash of Hendo's. When you've peeled and agitated your potatoes and your roasties are in oven, just make yourself a brew. Well, I must say, Andy, you've excelled yourself again. Every Christmas day, you do the same. Um, as you can see, the potatoes are now roasted, the gravy's ready. Um, shall I do the honours? Dig in. Remember, you're not just eating this for you, you're eating it for Jack as well. I am. Oh, look at that. So we, uh, why not indeed? Look. That's not the gravy. These are on. I think it'll be very hard. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Now, I suppose it all depends on how crispy you really want them. As to how they finish, but this is just crispy just... on the outside, nice and moist on the inside. Mm. If you don't like these, Jack, Jack, have your son gone? Oh, why? Well, he yes. love one of these. He would. Just a shame he's still in this. Mm -hmm. it? So, Dom, this is for you. And this. You can't be. You don't know what you missed him. And that is a bob on from me. And it's a bob on from me. <laughs> Alright, you what? How are we doing? Yorkshire cooks here. And today we will be roasting crispy. Turn it on. This week's beer of the week is wolf beer. You've got wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Turn it on. <off. laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you.